listen though. Okay, you, you guys don't ovulate. Can you talk to Sky Foy till you're older? Right, correct. You don't hold that child for nine months. You do not have the yeah, body yeah. or nutrients yeah. or anything to hold that child. Yeah. Create it, give yeah. it the food that it needs, correct? Right. Anything at all, right? Okay. okay. So why the fuck? Okay, even though you want to keep using that, but I'll just say this because the woman cannot carry that without a man's seed. And as a man, as a man, as a man, it is to me to honor and protect the weak and innocent, the orphan and widow. God commands men and women to speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves. So I'm answering your question directly. So I hope you could still, as I'm pleading to these young guys, as I'm pleading, as I'm pleading, as I'm pleading for these young guys to be men and honor a woman, I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you. I want to speak. 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 I want to speak to you as a woman. I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you as a woman. I want to speak to you as a woman that you should make sure a man would honor you as a woman and would not touch you until he honors you with a covenant of marriage. All right, I gotta go. I, I can't hear you. Now we're going to have a conversation now. I gotta go. What is it you're asking? Why don't you come out? It's noisy behind me, please. I'm asking to answer this question. I'm saying, we all high school kids. We not really worried about abortion. You should be. We can see right now, and we Christian kids, and we like high school kids. We not really worried about this. So can y'all just like go? Because we not really worried about this right now. I'm going anyway, but the thing is, okay, but, but I know, I know when I was in high school, and I was a fornicator. Okay, that's you. I, yes, I know. And it's, it's not just me, though. It's not just me. It was me. It's very common it in high school to fornicate outside of marriage. And even as I was, even when I was high school, and my girlfriend aborted my baby. Okay? So I come to high school. We come to high school. Young man. We come to high school. Okay, young man. We come to high school because you are past the puberty age. And you're coming into. You're coming into. Yeah, we go to college. Because you're coming into your adult years. You're coming into. Wait. Okay, you're co I'm answering as clear as possible. Are you listening? You asked a question and I'm answering you directly. All right. Okay, I just want to make sure I got your attention because you got everybody talking around and you're looking around. Did you hear what I? Uh, did you hear how I answered? Wait, okay, that you're a young adult. You guys got to start thinking as adults. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, I can't make it any clearer than that. Y'all shit ain't making sense. Yeah, okay. Respectfully. Okay. Wait, you, so you're, you're just like, talking a fool right now. Huh? What's the conversation? What's the conversation? What's the conversation? Oh, actually, primarily abortion. That was you problem. said abortion? And I, I'd actually, a conversation that I was more or less sharing with him is now you guys are coming in your adult years. We want you guys to start thinking, and ladies, start thinking as adults. You're going there. I was sexually active in high school. It's very, it's more common now than it even was when I was in sex, drugs, rock and roll. So I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to communicate to answer your question, and I like it. You got kids. To answer your question directly, that this is why we're here because now we're seeing you guys are the next generation get in the whether it's education force, the workforce, and most importantly, family, family force. And I'm not clapping your hands at you. Or whoever said that. Okay, because this is with uh, what really makes a society strong and for your lives to really prosper is actually respecting family, a woman being honored and respected with a covenant of marriage, and the marriage bed should be holy and undefiled. And every child is not looked as a burden or something of a woman's body choice, but as a gift of God, a heritage of the Lord. Can you hear me? Thank you, young man. Um, Quickly. Okay, so. I, I knew this was going to take. All you got to do to make her baby. Oh, what, I'm saying half. Well, I, I didn't hear that. What's the point of this if all you have to do is repent and go to heaven? Like, if repent. If what do you mean repent and go to heaven? How, what does that mean? Like, if you get an abortion, yes. God forgives you. How does he do that? Go to heaven. How does he do that? What do you mean? He forgives you. Let me, let me please have a conversation, please. I'm asking her to come. How does he forgive you with that? If you sincerely mean, say you're sorry. But how does he forgive you though? There is. It's see, let me, good. let me put it. I don't want to try to draw you out, and I'm not trying to trap you per se i wanted to hopefully we can get an understanding see we already sinned against god have you ever lied before well if we fail in one part of the law we're guilty of all that's according to james and if jesus said to be perfect as my heavenly father is perfect that's impo that's impossible okay so here young lady 
You got it half right. <laughs> okay, you got it half right. <laughs> Repentance is important, but that doesn't save us. It is actually God who, who came to earth, who lived a sinless perfect life, who became sin for you. You know how he did that? The wrath of God came upon him. That's where the cross comes in. Jesus died on the cross for the sins of the world. Repentance come when we come to realize that he became our mediator for me and you. And the thing is, the pain and suffering of sin, whether you have sex with a man outside of marriage, whether you have abortion, it is extremely painful, heartbreaking. Suicides are very high in there. We don't want you to have to go through that and say, oh, well, if I just got to repent, well, then what's the big deal? Sin hurts everybody. Okay. And we are here to, yeah, here we are here to love you and even these young men. This is why we want to plead. You are our next generation. You are a lady that could be powerful when you're rocking that cradle and you have a man who honors you, will protect you, and do everything and, and lay his own life down for you and your children. This is what young men are called to do. Does that make sense? Uh, sure. Thank you. Okay, so if God, if, if so, if that hurts God so much, what's the point of giving us free will? Like, because no. God didn't make us robots. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah Rob. He actually, why did he wait till I was almost 40 years? I don't know. The Apostle Paul, ma'am. The Apostle Paul, he was allowing Christians to be killed. Yeah, Stephen. When Stephen was, you know the story of Stephen? Stephen the big maybe she don't. Uh, Christian high school, so probably. Stephen was preaching the gospel to all the Pharisees, the religious people there, and they just got mad and they stoned him. But he was able to look up. This is in the book of Acts, okay? They should be teaching that here too, in the book of Acts. But it was seeing Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father, walking hands into his kingdom. And through that stoning, it was one of those Pharisees that was on their way to jail more Christians. And you know what? He became a believer. Jesus knocked them off his horse. Listen, Jesus knocked them off his horse. And he ended up writing most of the New Testament. The Apostle Paul. God works everything to good, but that doesn't okay. condone our sin, young lady. And that's why we still want to love you. You don't want to go through the pain and misery. You want to actually see what Christ has done for all of you on the cross and make your lives truly prosper in Him. Amen? Okay, so abortion is a sin, right? Yes. Yeah. It's our national sin. I'm sorry, what? It's like lying is a sin. Oh, yeah, just like that. So why don't you just go outside of sin, right? Why don't you go outside of school saying stop lying? I just did that now, didn't I? Please, no, you know what? Let's put it this way. You know, this isn't just about abortion. Now, here's a man standing in front of you that's not holier than thou. What I thought made a man, what I thought made a man is how many... This is my dirty laundry coming out, ladies. What I thought made a man, especially from high school, from high school, is how many women I could sleep with, how many beers I could put down, and how much cocaine I could sleep So I'm adulterer, an idolater. I, I was everything I kept breaking every commandment even have no other gods before me I took myself before God and you know who died for that my two children so when I hold up a dead baby I'm holding up lying adultery murder drug use drunkenness this is what the altar is up and we're saying to all of you and to you young lady this is what abortion is about today it's not a single issue We're having a discussion, man. Yeah. Okay, we're fine, though. Thank you, though. I appreciate you. All right? Thank you. Thank you. I do have to go. So if you have information... Yeah, that's fine. No, that's all right. I don't want to argue with anybody. So anyway, but does that make sense to you, ma'am? Why would they come and grab the pictures in front of the fucking high school? All right. And please... You're the future. You have strong families. May God bless you with children when you get older. Amen? All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. God bless you. Good day. Hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll give you a better handshake. I, real, I, I, didn't, I didn't get a good... Are you leaving now? Yeah. Might as well. You're already gone. We're thinking about what we said, okay? We're here because we care about you. Because we yeah, love you. Y'all have a good day. Hey, young man, have a good year.